Ba-dum, 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 doo-doo. It is so windy today. Yo, look at these babies. They're looking freaking good. The garage is a mess. Do not look at any of that. Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Connor. How you guys doing today? It has been a minute since I last freaking recorded. It is... I think it's been since May since I recorded another YouTube video, and uh, I'm here to tell you guys I'm back. I'm ready to go. I'm trying to upload more. I know I keep saying that, but uh, this time for real, I have more time on my hands, and I'm ready to freaking rumble. A lot has changed since last time I made a YouTube video. I was still in Germany back then, and uh, I had short hair. Now I have some long-ass hair. I got a little bit of a, a beard going on, you know, something slight. I still, it's still pretty bad. It ain't a, it ain't a real beard. I, I call it like a chin strap kind of thing I have. But now we are back in the United States. Uh, I have a house. I bought a house out here. I live in Nebraska. Um, both Evo and the Super made it uh, pretty much just fine. Uh, I'll go more into detail on that later. But yeah, the cars are here. Uh, I got the Nissan Titan now. I got a big old truck over there. Look at that boy. Look at that guy. I don't know if you can see him, but yeah, yeah he's a piece of shit. But yeah, I mean, he works. He, he be working. I got so much stuff to update you guys on. Just, just loads of stuff. I have just a lot uh first and foremost uh the evo did come damaged when i was in uh in transit when i was in transit from germany to um the united states and um it was pretty bad not gonna lie it was actually super bad and uh i'm gonna show you real quick uh you can't actually see the damage anymore because it's been fixed since then but i'll post some pictures um but yeah so the wing here it was cracked on the side it was cracked right here and cracked in the back it was just damaged it looked like it just super scuffed it was really bad but uh we since then got the it painted and they did an amazing job just perfect just contrast it looks amazing it looks amazing and um on the top they it was scraped all over here i don't know i don't know how i don't know what happened but it it was just scraped. It's almost like if a car run went over it or something. I don't know. But yeah, it was all scraped like from here all the way down there. And then they got me fixed up. They got me fixed up. It looks amazing. So, I mean, kind of blessing in disguise. I got the roof and the wing. The wing, I had to replace it. So I bought it from uh, some guy in, um, where is it? I think it was in Canada. But yeah, yeah, he hooked it up. I got it for a decent price. And it was all paid for by insurance. So it was pretty lit. That was definitely one of the worst things that just made me want to quit. Uh, just fucking making videos for a little bit. I was just so upset about it. But I mean, I, I'm still on TikTok. I still do some TikToks here and there. But um, I'm trying to move away from TikTok now because, uh, first of all, the, the channel's dead. I think I let it die just because I stopped posting. I don't know. I, in between moving, getting out, getting a new job, it was, just, um, it was just stressful. And I didn't have the cars for like four months. So, I don't know, like two or three months. Yeah, I didn't have them for a long time. So, I. I just stopped posting car content. I could have started posted like skits and stuff, but I just didn't want to do that stuff. So uh, yeah, the channel's a little dead. I mean, I sh I'm gonna start continue to post, but for now, it's just gonna stay a little dead. But the YouTube channel, she's coming back up. She's coming back. I'm gonna try to record and um, do a lot of stuff because um, there is uh, in Omaha. If you guys didn't know, there's a lot of car stuff going on. There's just there's a whole community here. It's crazy. There's a lot of takeover stuff. So I I I, I don't really like the takeover stuff, but. You know, I'll be there, I'll record, I'll show you guys what's up in Omaha, but let me show you a couple things in the Evo that I did and that I think you guys are going to like. I think it looks sick to me, at least. We put the Evo 8 seats in, baby. They look so good. It took me way longer than it should have, but these are so much more comfortable than the old seats that I had. The racing, like, carb like they were like uh, fiberglass seats. They just hurt, but these are just way more comfortable would make the car way more enjoyable the only thing i don't like is that that does not match i mean obviously it's original whatever but uh i had to take this one off because it was falling off the glue cape coming off but uh, i kind of like the just the full black interior so i might just do it though everything i'll keep it if i ever end up selling the car i'll put it back on whatever but yeah it looks freaking nice that's about it for the evo um if i do get it some chance for it today i want to ceramic coat the wheels because there is a car show coming up uh on saturday today's thursday and if i can get the car looking schmint, um it'll be freaking sick so hopefully we'll, we'll get to that today but we'll see it's it's only five so we'll probably get to it today we also got uh some quick jacks i don't know if you can see them right there they were a freaking dream whenever i was doing this because i had all four wheels off I sanded them all and I painted them all. So it was just easier to go up and down uh, every day while I was doing it. And also whenever I got the wheels um, put on or the tires put on, 
I had to just lift it up, take all the wheels off, drove it out, and uh, got them replaced just because the car isn't registered right now. It's just been too snowy. I've been kind of busy, but um, sometime, hopefully this week or next week, we'll get the car registered and we'll get it out um, so everyone can roast me on my wrap. <laughs> the plans, though, for the Supra this summer, uh, I want to take the clutch out and get uh, just like a South Bend clutch because if you guys didn't know, I have an Exedi twin disc extreme clutch. It is a piece of shit to drive. I hate it. It makes me just not want to drive the Supra. And uh, for the past the past three years, that's pretty much why I didn't drive it as much because the clutch was just, su it's a twin disc clutch, it's horrid. Uh, every time I fucking put my foot on the pedal, it just, it's hard, it grabs like a beast, but I don't make enough power to even need a clutch that's twin disc clutch is rated for like 900 horsepower, I don't need that. So I'm gonna get a South Bend, um, I believe it's a, a daily stage three, it holds like 589 pounds of torque, so, we're only going to be making like 450, 500 this summer. So, I mean, it, it's going to be plenty. The car's going to be fun. I don't, I'm not chasing horsepower. I'm mostly just chasing to have a good time. But yeah, it's been it's it's been a journey so far. I still got to put the lip on the Supra. She looks kind of funky without the lip, you know. She looks freaking goofy. So I still got to put the lip on. It's right there. I've just been too lazy to do it. She's got a lot of things to do. She's so nice. I'm coming back from a sickness. So if I sound kind of weird, I'm sorry. But yeah. So this weekend, there is, a, I think it's like a season opener car show or whatever. A bunch of the guys that I met, they, I met a bunch of DSM boys that I'm going to show you guys. It's, it's going to be pretty sick. The DSM boys, they have like Eagle Talons. Uh, like all of them have Eagle Talons. They're trying to convince me to buy an Eagle Talon. And I'm like, Loki, you know, just, you know, like all wheel drive, freaking 4063, just daily. I feel like it'd be cool. I'm looking for daily. So, uh, cause the Titans just pretty dog shit. It just chugs gas, so uh, I'm gonna be looking for daily soon. But I got some plans that I I'll let you guys know later on whenever they get solidified that uh, we're gonna be going and um, it's something with to do with this right here, something to do with that. You know, uh, I, I'm still thinking about it, but if we do end up pulling the trigger on this, it's gonna be freaking epic. Also, another thing we got a we got a puppers. His name's Paco. He's a good boy. Look at him. He likes to eat up everything, and I'm saying everything, bro. He just messed up so many things, but he's such a cutie. He's a great Pyrenees, um golden doodle mix. You just got a haircut. You look kind of goofy, but, you know, he's, he's that guy. He's that guy. We're going to the parts mobile, the parts area, you know. This is the basement, you know. I still haven't even put on that. That actually came damaged from uh, the movers, so I'm pretty pissed about that. I'm just not going to look at that right now. We're looking for something real quick. Ooh, we found it, baby. We found our Avalon King. Let's freaking strap and coat these wheels, baby. I gotta set up these quick jacks real quick to get the full car up on the lift, but uh, it's gonna take a little bit. I wasn't planning on this today. All right, so after a little bit of finagling, we got her done. We got it all set up, ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and loosen up all the wheels and uh, yeah, get all these freaking wheels all cleaned up because uh, when I tell you they're nasty, they are disgusting. It looks like poop stains, bruh. Poop stains. Hey, baby, she's on the freaking quick jacks. It's, lo it's always low key kind of sketchy every single time I do the quick jacks, but she's good. She's good. We're chilling. We're chilling. We got, we, we're on the first little notch, so we're good. We, I loosen up all of the wheels. All we got to do is take them off, clean them. It's going to be a good time. When I tell you these things are dusty, bro. These things are dusty, bro. I think it's just going to be easier if we time-lapse this. These are just crusty. I'm just going to have to go into town with these boys. I'll show you guys how to do the ceramic coating, but even these wheels need some work, bro. These wheels just need some work, dude. It, it, oh, I'm just not good with wheels right now. I'm just, I, we ain't good. We, we ain't got good wheels, but don't worry. We're going to come back. Alright, well, they are done. They look crispy. They are not perfect. They still, I mean, they're kind of old. They've kind of gone through it, honestly. Um, there's a bunch of marks on it, but you won't ever be able to see while I'm driving by or, like, the car meet or anything like that. But they look good, bro. They look fucking mint. 
I high key love the Enki. Uh, Evil was Evil Eight Enkis. So they look freaking nice. All we gotta do now is make sure they're super duper, uber duper clean. So I'm gonna hit them with the wax and grease remover, and then uh, we're gonna hit them with the Avalon, put them all down, and then put them on the car because they have to sit for about 24 hours until they could actually be used, or like just not used but like wet. So hopefully this time tomorrow we'll be good to go. I've actually been sitting on these this Avalon King for like <laughs> like over a year now. Uh, I just always was lazy because I couldn't put all four tires i'd have to take one tire off put on whatever jack and this and that and the quick jacks really just made quick work of the everything you know like it was really easy so definitely gonna put this to use this was almost like 60 bucks or like a hundred dollars i can't remember how much it was so apparently if you are good and don't spill you should be able to do like four sets of wheels so or a full car with one of these so i'm not gonna do with any cars or anything like that i'm just gonna do this set of wheels because um my cars aren't perfect right now the evo maybe i'll get another uh, avalon thing and i'll get the evo and then whenever we rewrap the supra we're gonna rewrap it a different color i'm definitely gonna go and get some avalon put it on this bitch so it'll be easier to clean just shinier and all that bro this literally comes in like some fancy ass box i haven't seen that look at that bro comes with the card the Avalon Ooh, it's pretty heavy what is this uh, it's 30 mils of this stuff um, I'm pretty sure it comes with an applicator pad yeah it comes with a little little freaking wool pad oh don't spill dang this microfiber cloth is nice comes with this what else does it come with there's a little block you put it on there and you use, you use that on your wheels. More microfiber cloths. Does this come with instructions? Because I'm low-key kind of rich, I'm not going to lie. Oh, as I say that, boom. See what they got for me. All right, so we use the card, put it on the uh, cloth, rub it back and forth, the uh, continuous pattern shine it off and you know wait 24 hours pretty much that's pretty essentially what it is i've seen videos on how to do it so we should be good to go all right i'm gonna time lapse it again i'm sure it's gonna take me a long time because uh, i like to be super intricate with it so let's get her done Alrighty, so I didn't record it, me putting back the wheels because I didn't think y'all like it, but look at this. Look how clean these wheels are. They still look slightly dirty, but that's just because I was torquing them down. But <clears throat> I'm going to clean the car anyways on Saturday, so it's not going to really be a big deal. But they're so dope. Don't mind the garage again. She's looking freaking ugly. But we're going to end it there. Thank you guys again for coming back to the YouTube channel after a hiatus but you know we're gonna be uploading more to this saturday i'm gonna be shooting a video with everyone going to this for first uh meet so we'll see how that goes pretty excited actually uh it's my first like car show in omaha so i've been to three meets but no no car show so we'll see how that goes see how everybody likes the evo see you guys i love you bye bye